everybody, in the fall, radish season is peak. Today's recipe is steamed radish rice. In Korean, mu bap. Mu is radish, bap is rice. I'm going to make a really healthy and delicious recipe. When you go to Korean grocery store, you will find a very nice, beautiful radish. Really firm and juicy and sweet. And there is a more green part. It's, it means they're very sweet. When I see this at the grocery store, I want to make this mubap. All the time, no matter what season is, always I keep this radish. Sometimes radish is not good quality, still I need radish. Why? When I make some stock, some anchovy kelp stock, and then I always add some radish. When I make a fish stew, I add some radish so that the broth is flavorful. So that's why I always radish. I cannot survive without radish. One cup of rice. Let's wash. Just rubbing by hand. Like this, remove there some dust. Rinse out a couple of times and soak. In the old days in Korea, rice was very, very precious. While you are washing rice, some a few grains of rice is washed away. You need to just know your fortune is washed away, that means. This is maybe about more than one pound. I'm going to measure one pound. into matchsticks, one pound of radish. Drain this rice. Look at this, lots of radish. I like to eat a lot of radish when I make this. Almost a half amount of radish. And rice, soaked rice. The rice was one cup. Right, so I'm going to use one cup water. And leftover radish, or put it here. And cook over medium high heat. While this is rice cooking, I'm going to make just sauce. I add lots of green onions, four green onions and four garlic cloves. quarter cup soy sauce and gochugaru is one tablespoon gochugaru so one tablespoon and toasted sesame seeds we need to add this make it more nutty around two tablespoons we focus on making this sauce very delicious sesame oil two tablespoons Wow, looks so good. This sauce is amazing. I love this sauce. And actually this sauce in a just a freshly made rice and you mix it together, just you can eat it. So good. <laughs> if you know about Korean cooking, so you never be hungry. Because at least you can make this sauce and the rice. <laughs> but today's a special rice in the radish rice. So 10 minutes. Cooking, you see, all bubbling. And just mix. You still lots of water so on the bottom because radish is very fresh radish. Water comes out from radish. And I'm going to turn down the heat to medium. Nice, looks good. Oh, this is, 
I'm going to eat with these mushrooms. I made with this king oyster mushroom, just I slice this in the lengthwise and marinate the bulgogi sauce. So we say that mushroom bulgogi. <laughs> Grill this. Let's see if rice is all cooked or not. Good, good, well cooked. Nice. Turn off. And then, let's turn it over. Yay! Wow, smells very kind of a sweet and earthy. So rice and yangnyamjang. I'm going to add this yangnyamjang here. Okay, let's mix. Wow, very good. My mouth watering. Mmm, soft and sweet. Mm. You guys, if you want to add some protein during the winter time, I sometimes I use I use oyster, very freshly shocked oyster. I just used to add. And when the rice is the first 10 minutes after, like um, we need to simmer this, around that time, add some uh, oysters. Or beef, shredded beef, and from the beginning you can cook together. But this way is more, I really focus on radish taste. Radish and rice. Mmm. Mmm. I see, it's mushroom bulgogi. Mm. Let's have some kimchi. So pickled perilla leaves. Just with the perilla leaves, I grew. Just cooked radish. Just make it this whole rice is very juicy and never dry. And also like a small portion of rice is inside and you can eat a lot and you feel really, really good, but digest so quickly. Sooner or later, you'll be hungry. <laughs> then you can eat it again. So today, I showed you how to make muba, steamed radish rice. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.